an intro. What do I want? What do I really want? I knew the answer to that question. It was the house, the relationship, financial freedom. It was everything that I didn't have but thought I wanted. But it was never the journey because I didn't know that I was always going to want more. That life wasn't about the manifested, but about the manifesting. I learned this from Abraham Hicks. I have tried it all. Vision boards, gratitude lists, visualization, affirmations, praying. And while they all yielded powerful results, none were sufficient for the happily ever after that I was truly seeking. I just couldn't put my finger on it, that it was the journey that was the journey. I have known about the law of attraction for 22 years, knowing, believing that I can have, do, and be anything I wanted. It took experiencing a full surrender. Then I learned what the path of least resistance to abundance was. It's as simple as tuning in to your personal well-being, staying in alignment with what we ultimately are, an extension of this magical universe, and that it's about feeling good. So why did it take me so long to figure this out? Because I didn't do these three simple things. I wasn't grounded in a power greater than myself because I knew it all. I didn't meditate because it was hard. I didn't consciously choose to tend to my well-being because I thought when I have that, I'll feel good. Sound familiar to anyone? I knew it all. I knew that I created my own reality, and in my reality, I kept experiencing so much unwanted life from one extreme to the other, an unconscious creator, and I got desperate. My thoughts and personal well-being were hijacked. I was enduring a soul sickness, a disease of the mind. And in that desperation, I wanted something more more than I've ever wanted anything. I wanted to feel good. And then, in that desperation, came the surrender. I stopped knowing and I started allowing. I became aware of the way I felt because I finally understood that my well-being is the magic. How did I get there? This is what I did. I began to meditate every morning for 15 minutes to begin to feel the awareness of a power greater than me. I began to seek the magic by consciously choosing to find ways to feel good, and I would find them. The message being that our joy is not dependent upon our current circumstances, but on how we choose to feel right now. And in doing those two things, I was able to ground myself in a power greater than me by putting myself in a position to receive and allow the magic to continue to flow, the surrender. So, remember, abundance is not the manifested. It's the manifesting, because you're always going to want more. So, be easy about life. It is a journey and it's supposed to be fun. Thank you.